Welcome back, MTG Joe here. We're here for another live one on YouTube. I uh, try not to do a couple more live streams each week uh, to kind of interact with the community in real time, but we'll have these all recorded and posted onto the YouTube cut up between the different decks. So season just reset on the arena ladder. Uh, so we will be pushing for Mythic. Let's see if we could get number one again like we did in August. And we're gonna be playing Explorer to start things off. And I wanna try out a mono red aggro deck that's been doing pretty well. I made a couple tweaks and uh, we'll take it to the ladder and see how it goes. Uh, but the deck itself, this one is a Annex Ember Cleave version of the deck. Um, I've been kind of against Annex and prefer Ferocidon just because I don't like losing to Angels. But we'll give it a shot. Uh, this deck is also playing Lightning Strike main board to deal with all the Grease Fang decks. It also helps against like Spirits and some of those other decks. We got some Torbrands, Ember Cleaves at the top end. Your removal is basically Bone Crusher and Lightning Strike, but you're going to go pretty wide. Uh, we have Carry Zev, Robber, and Burning Tree as our two drops. Burning Tree allows us to go pretty wide fairly quick. Um, and then we have like Firebrand uh, as kind of removal that can stack. Fervent Champion that auto equips the cleave. Also, First Strike could be relevant. Some Kumanos. Um, and then, yeah, I just fixed up the mana base because the mana base was really bad. And we'll give it a shot. Take it to the ladder and see how it goes. J Stack, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Vacation was fantastic. Had a great time, but it's good to be back in the city. Ladder should have reset, should be platinum. Audio and everything okay, J Stack? Just trying to get everything right. Uh, this hand's pretty good. Kumano into one of these is really strong. Depending on what they're playing, it'll indicate what I want to go with on two. It's likely Grease Fang, so... Probably just Kari Zev here. It lets me put out more damage next turn. Uh, Embergleaf top deck would be like the best. So we could be seeing there's a humming sound. Is that any better? Okay, so we got a Parhelion. We could potentially just die next turn. There is a garbage truck also just coming in front of my house to pick something up, which might be that humming sound that's being picked up. That should pass in like a minute. They're kind of inclined to double block here, or like to take out one of my two powers. If they take out my fervent, whatever, I need to kind of just push damage in here. This matchup's usually a race. Did they disconnect? We'll take free wins. Sounds like there's an airplane outside. Okay, so it's probably this garbage truck. Give it a couple minutes and then uh, I'll see if it passes. So they're at 10. Do they have the Grease Fang? Okay, they do. Guess Ember Cleave still gets me okay. So they had the exact nuts for turn three. So they block. They block. They take three, four, five, six. So I'm short. So they got me. They got me. We needed like lightning strike that turn or just them to not have the turn three. In this matchup, there's pretty little player agency. Like if we don't have the lightning strike in hand, our decisions typically just attack. While we can hold back the robber there, it doesn't do too much. 
So his hand's not as explosive in terms of creature power, but we got a couple lightning strikes. I can interact. We have Ember Cleave at some top end. So hope this Firebrand could do some stuff. We'll give this a couple games, see how it plays out. I haven't been like super fond of the Explorer Mono Red deck. I like it in Historic a lot, but there's some of the Anthology cards or Jumpstart cards that make the deck a lot fa better. There's also a Mono Red Goblins deck going around that we can try out. Everybody on Grease Fang? Alright, deal four to yourself. It's gonna be the, uh... The game where the opponent just keeps having it. <laughs> AC4C, how's it going? We don't really have a choice here, we have to do it. See if they attack in here, they don't. So... this this turn try to beat them down this way they could have another grease fang we've had two games in a row where opponents had grease fang on curve can't stay awake also does it can go defensive robber that might be able to buy me a turn. They need a way to put the Parhelion into the yard. So this takes one of the angels out of the way. And then this lets me also have Robber up. So they could Liliana and they get it. So. Opponent had literally like the best combination of cards. So I've been kind of down on Explorer, best of one at least recently, because it's been so much Grease Fang. The games don't really make much sense. We'll give us another couple goes. We might have to switch decks. This one might not do it for us. Hand is sick. Got an Angels deck. Got a Taking Turns deck. We can give a shot. Okay, so we got Blue White Control. Don't see too much blue white control in the the ladder at least in chess guy. Okay. So I'm super punished by anger of the gods, but if not, I'm in a really good spot. I feel like most of them would probably be temporary lockdown. was not what I was expecting to play around. So even if they kill here, I get four tokens and then I have the Bone Crusher Giant.
Okay. Lotus fields. Face goes boom! Alright, on the board. All we have to do is play a shitty control deck. Temporary lockdown is an interesting one. I don't know if I would prefer that over just an actual sweeper, because if that is anger at the same spot, it also depends on how much of blue they're splashing, or red. Go first, we'll try this. Monkey attacks. All right. And got another Grease Fang deck. So I'm just gonna uh, like either stomp their creature here onto play out Bone Crusher. They just have natural. Grease Fang on three again, which I seem to be doing a fantastic job of such. Um, I think we just do this. There was a play I could have held up with the Bone Crusher, but then I'm not pushing through any damage. Grease Fang in the yard. We could get Can't Stayed Awaked. This might have been the card they were missing. Oh, just draw your Grease Fang and get me that way. You have two blockers. I'm assuming it's Lily. This is three times now that we've just not been able to do anything. Maybe we can take a Lily out of their hand. Okay, so we're Fiends, protects us. We're technically still, no, we're dead to this, Wither Bloom. So let's see if they see it. They just do the gain drain. Oh, they just had two in there? Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're just not doing enough with this deck. We'll play till the 20 minute mark. You can have like some okay games with the deck, but with Grease Fang, like we just can't push the damage fast enough, which is showing up. To go Cemetery Gatekeeper maybe. Spirits. So they have either Spectral Adverse or Sailor. Actually don't mind this start. This is a very good start against Mono Blue because we have three threats out to their one. They'll have likely another threat here. I'm gonna play both of these out because it makes my next play better. Friend, first strike. Incoming concession. Hey, the fallen one. Yeah, this is Explore. Trying out some mono red and Explore. I usually don't play Annex in my uh, 
historic version. I play Lelia, Bone Crusher Giant, one to two Chain Whirlers, and um, Ferocidon. Ferocidon's much better. Give this a shot. A two drop creature would be good, but I think just Bone Crushering here isn't too bad. Okay, Mirror. I think we just push the damage face, take advantage of the mana. Next turn either I could stomp or play out a Bone Crusher Giant and then I have access to the land. How's everything going with yourself? Okay. Strike. I think we might, uh, depending on what they play, get okay, interesting. Showdown pass. They like borrow spurn. Shibin predator. Well, that is a hell of a card to get a hold of. Just gonna pass the turn. They might be. There's a lot of fun Explorer decks. Best of one, you are somewhat stuck playing around Grease Fang. Yeah, I, I gotta practice best of three, but since it's early in the month, I wanna give uh, best of one a bit more of a go. Okay, so here. Let's get rid of this. Opponent's head explodes. So they're like on that old Boros aggro kind of from standard. They added some lightning strikes into there. Alright. Going in the right direction finally. Give this one or two more and then we'll uh, swap it up. I'm trying to do the roulette. Find what's ever giving us... When I got number one mythic in August I had an 80-ish percent win rate. Yeah, hands not gonna do anything. This hands good, good. So we'll drop a Kumano. Uh, one, two, two, and then ideally draw a line for three. This hands actually very good. I don't even know if like four Ember cleaves the call because the games we've been losing, we've been losing by quite a big distance. We need the lion next turn. Like running lions would be perfect. Worst case, we play a rolling vortex. Um, so this particular configuration of mono red would be bad against angels. It would be bad against the grease fang deck unless you have exactly on curve. Um, we're hoping for the, th uh, the lion there. So they can take the trade there, Kampari Zev. Um, control's usually pretty good of a matchup. You can pretty much, like play draw is a big thing for the mono blue deck. Uh, they don't really remove your stuff. You have some removal and you can play at instant speed. This version also has eight burn spells between Stomp and Lightning Strike, which helps. Uh, I'm just thinking of the common best of one decks at least. Like you could beat up on <sighs> Grease Fang's tough. So playing this pre-combat. So they have the choice here. They can take the two and just take that block. And then I get at least some damage in. If land, we do that. I, I'm not, I'd say mono red in Explorer is like a tier two deck. While it can have explosive draws, it's a little bit inconsistent. I prefer it much more in Historic. Land. Alright, on this episode of You Figure Out the Math. I'm 
Like, this card's very good, and I think if Angels is very popular, you bring this out. This version's trying to go more Annex Cleave, which, like, there's a lot of ground blockers. So unless you have Ember Cleave, you have to play it more of a combo deck. We have three Cleaves in the deck, but here we don't really have card advantage. Um, it, I'll pull up the list in a sec. I'll show you my list. Lelia, uh, the Jumpstart Goblin that for one mana that gives something haste are both very good cards. So it's just got a more embedded card advantage. I was playing Ambergris at one point. So here, like even if they have Chain Whirler, we're pretty good. Is the sound okay? Is there still that humming that was there early? Okay. Well, they take a Crown War, but they're pretty much still dead. They have to block the two power here. And still, they need multiple bodies here. A land turns us on. Yeah, Lelia is a big part of the deck to just give you card advantage. Like you see here, we're pretty much in top deck mode, and I have no way of getting card advantage. The original list had two light at the stage, which I felt was inconsistent with this deck. Uh, and then we also have a, quite a few bad draws. Yeah, so it's probably the garbage truck coming. Literally been waiting all day. Crown War is an interesting inclusion. You're pretty high up on the curve at this point between Torbrand. Like, oh, I should I say that. Torbrand's my card. All right, they're deep in the tank. They're thinking. Do we have a chance? Okay, they're gonna go stomp here. They need another burn spell. So they can sack the firebrand to kill one of my things. If they have like another stomp, maybe it helps them, but. Pretty much dead there. Here, I'll show you a version of the mono red. So the mono red deck, it's a little bit weak to wizards. So this should be go away. And we should have In order to be wizards, you need lightning strike. So it's very similar of a deck. Like that's the nice thing. You could build this in one format, play it in another. Um, like the mana base is the same. I play 24 lands, um, but you get Lelia, which gives you card advantage off the top. Uh, and then because of the meta, you have to play a little bit different. So play with fires for the elves matchup to be able to control them in time. And then lightning strike is a new addition. Um, to deal with all the wizards decks that go around. There's also like Reckless Ringleader, so give something in your hand haste. So you can give like Ferocidon haste, Chain Whirler haste, uh, Bone Crusher Giant. You can also have turns where you go like this on one, give your Burning Tree haste, play Robber, attack for five on turn two. Um, I could demo like, a game of this. It kind of fits the whole mono red theme for the first deck. The worst matchup for this one is is it Wizards because it's all three toughness and they have both a combination of cheap burn and a very aggressive start, especially with Flyers. Um, like there's this one and then there's the Alchemy Mono Red, which is the deck I got number one Mythic with in August, which I haven't touched since. 
Actually, I should try that up. Opponent goes first. Hands fine in the dark. We got some removal. I'll keep it. I usually prefer to hold the ringleader if possible. But basic island. This is probably wizards, so I'm gonna be on two. Like, you, you need to put pressure on wizards. That's the only way to beat it. So usually it's like the burning tree drops. Yeah, considers wizards. So we'll see how the new lightning strike pays off. Go Arcanist. Okay, no spell there is good. Um, this is probably going to need a, a burn spell, but... We're a little awkward right now. The fact they haven't gotten a threat out bodes well for us at least. But I would imagine looking at the top three, one of these will be a land and then we'll likely see a threat out of them. No threat. Go little goblins! I'm probably gonna play with fire the face here. I need to find another threat here. Okay. So it's on cast trigger, maybe I should have waited, but they're probably going to find like another creature anyways. Actually, let me up. I wanted to upkeep stop. I mean, if they're just spinning their wheels, it's probably good for us. But the problem is like either now I need to use two of these to deal three toughness. Um I can play with fire this. But it kind of fizzles. That's yeah, actually pretty good for me. Because even if they den here... Not the best draw, but it lets me both progress my board and kind of get rid of one of these. Both of us have had really awkward draws right now. Like, that's not really what we want to see. And then they've also gone a third through their deck and have seen three creatures. Lelia is the best draw in my deck, or an Ember Cleave. They're just going aggro. So I can take them off the land, but... I think we just want to keep putting pressure. It's a very aggressive line taken. We're just going to sack that. Stomp would be good. Leaves them dead. Chain Roller is also not bad. We're one off from lethal. It depends on what they block. Because if they just go den to block a ringleader. Okay, so we see lightning there. Okay, them blowing two lightnings is really good because now I get to do this. And they may not have the third lightning. Otherwise, uh, looks like they might. Ancestral Anger. 
Wheels are spinning. Arcanist, give the pump. Okay, that lets them flash back a wizard's lightning. So the angers came through, but they don't have the haste. Second creature keeps them alive for this turn. Stomp, stomp. They need to block here. I'm gonna hold this at this point. The extra land's not gonna do much. We've also drawn a lot of lands. They've seen th four, is that their fourth expressive? One, two, three, four, yeah. And a mentor's guidance. So they're digging. Can I just have stomp? 7% at stomp. Yeah, now they clear my board. Play with fire, stomp, lightning strike. Any of my haste creatures. Another ruins. Camp block. The dread horde can. What'd you give me? Thank you. Face of the place. Get out of here. So taking that wizards actually felt good there. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this one up on mono red. Let me switch up decks. For the YouTube folks, thanks for watching for the full video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. And thanks for stopping by.